Okay, the spirit wants to talk. And see what he wants to say. It's very much on me now. So, uh, he said destroy. He start with that word. You can't handle it. He say that to you. That listen. Uh, that have this storm and tornadoes in your life. You can't handle it. It's now again they say a mind that's a mindset they say to you the whole time it's to work on your mindset and the mindset is not to to not listen at this podcast because it's working on your mindset and in a good way to make you come into the light he say uh, now uh, it seems like I am talking but he's talking inside me now I never know when he when those spirits is coming inside me most of the time I don't feel it but sometimes I feel it but uh, he's inside me now and he wants to talk to you Why, why do you make me so be so em- and be dry in my throat? Why, why are you doing this? He say that it's it's something that he want to show me for to tell you that he he is saying that he sees someone. Is on his way, or you have started to drink again. You, that's the dry thing, in my throat, is because you, you want to drink. And that is not water you want to drink. You want, want to drink to destroy you. You want to kill yourself. <clears throat> And you know what God is saying about to kill yourself. God doesn't. God tell us that we should not kill. And to destroy yourself and kill yourself. That is the demonic things that you have. And you... (coughs) You have to fight against these demonic things you have have and let come in to you. And uh, he's saying, the spirit is saying to you that that you feed the the demonic in you by having some of these demonic uh, people that is possessed of the demons you have them around you and you have not keeping clean of your your private your spheric uh, area around you you have not tell them goodbye and come back if you can be sober for a long time, not a half year like that. If, uh, after one year, if they are sober after one year, and you really know that they are sober after one year, they are they are welcome back. But in this time, they should not come be with you. That's it's the that spirits are talking. He talk it to you. Uh, because he see it, he see you. You you can deny how so much as you want, and maybe there he's telling you something special, a secret to you that that there is 
some people there in your life that hide what they are doing. The, the, <laughs> he he's showing me. He's showing me a bathroom, and it, with a water closet. Inside that water closet is a plastic bag hanging. And behind it, maybe also, but there it's laying. There is a, either a bottle or it is a, drugs. So there is someone in your home that was telling you that some like positive about drinking and drugs and try to dig in into your brain for you to start over again start to drink or make drugs someone is it very close to you and you know who it is if you really are thinking about it you know it but you you have denied it you don't want to see it because that's this person is in your heart you you go for the nature and the, the nature in you uh, open up the door for demons to come in and uh, this is for many of you that listen <sighs> this spirit that's uh, amazing how they can come and talk uh, and tell us what is what they see and what they hear these things um, so the, um, we have we have the blood of Jesus to protect us but that is that uh, the blood of Jesus is not strong enough to hold back the demons. The demons is a, is a more powerful energy uh, forces than uh, only is not only n nothing that is negative is is only. It is hard to have in your life. It uh, make you uh, get illness. It make you uh, not see things clearly, and it make you not could move forward to or in God's plan for your life that holds you back. And uh, that's not only, uh, but demons is is this is more killing, killing uh, forces than those that have the devil in in you. That is only like only I say again, <laughs> it's evil things. But the demons is very strong things, and it it can it can't be uh, only about uh, saying that uh, the blood of Jesus is cleaning up inside my body because we are we are brother and sister to Jesus. Uh, it needs to be more. It needs to be. In your mindset, as they say, the spirits, it's had to be act from you. The, you can't have the only that saying that the blood of Jesus is going to protect me, uh, and the cross doesn't protect you because that works with the demons. Uh, but the to 
take away the demons is that you need to do it by yourself to clean up the environment you are in. And sometimes, I have said it before, sometimes God use the devil for you to move away from that place that is not good for you. So like me, I have talked about it, that about my grandkids, that I didn't see it. I was angry. Why did God take away my grandkids? But it was because COVID-19 came. So that had been, I had been killed if my grandkids had co come in here and run around. And my son, he's from the devil, so he, he had let them do everything for me to get COVID-19. And uh, so the, uh, uh, that was good. Uh, God cleaned up my life from my son also that he had been evil the whole time. He was already evil as a child because his father was a devil, uh, a child of the devil. And uh, I, I be toxic of the devil by be together with his father and it have caused me many problems mm -hmm. everything have caused me problems in my life because i have had the the those demon possessed people in my life I have not understood it, but now when I talk to you, you should know it now. But I didn't have anyone that, like me, <laughs> that was telling me that that's why you have this trouble and problem in your life is because you invite the the devil and. And you have invited the demons in your life that want to have wanted to kill you. My my son's father he he put a knife on me and he said he he should throw me out from our home, ten floor up. Uh, if I if he had threw me out, I have been killed. So he was very close to kill me. He was a demon in him. And then I make, make us have a child together. And that child was already toxic in, inside my body. And I, I didn't know that when my, I, I have talking about it, but I can remind you that have already listened at that episode that my son was dead when he come out from me. I have very hard pregnancy and I was laying in the hospital for two months before he was born and when he, he was born he was dead in four minutes. But uh, a doctor was there uh, of an accident, as I saw it in that time. But the, the devil was there. But it was also in God's plan in the long run. Uh, so that doctor make uh, my son coming back to life. And then when my son was uh, about three months, uh, we were to the hospital and to check out if his brain was working, if he was okay in the brain. But uh, it, you know, the, the, the devil, he hide, he hide in the darkness most of the time. 
And now in the last days, he don't hide anymore. But before, this was 1975 when my son, son was born. In that time, the devil hide because we were not in, in the last days that like we are today. So, so the doctor do, didn't see it in his brain, but he had the demons inside him already because he was very evil. So he had a, a special person that took care of him in the, in the child care because he was evil to those other children. So already from the start he was evil. So some people, some children can be born with the demons inside them. So uh, the, uh, have, have I say so, everything about the demons? It seems like uh, the spirit is coming through once again, or if it's someone else, I don't know. Um, he said. He say the demons uh, clarify, he say, clarify about it. And I don't know, what do you want me to say about, to make it clarify about demons? The, he say that demons is the forces that I have say that. It's the forces to bring you down. Uh, yeah, and we need to know more like uh, constructive about it. If you have something to say, I talk to the spirit about it. It's not me that talking like like this uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, start to come up on my skull over my skull it's uh, when it's coming from over my skull is it God that is coming through and he holds his hand uh, uh, over me, he have a white clothes on uh, this uh, that is over my head, and he hold his hand over me, but it's not to put to give me. In uh, some way, it's it to give me, but it's for me to give to you. That was his. He said to me that those that listen about this, about demons, that have the demons in their life, if I don't hold my hand over you to spread it to your listener, they will close this episode and then they will forget it. But this hand, the hand, uh, he wants me to tell you the symbolic of the hand. The hand is action. It's when you see a hand, you know that God wants you to act on something. That's the hand to work with your hand, act, and not only, okay, 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 and then you close the episode and then you go back to your normal life and do nothing. The hand means that you should act on what what's said now. 
the hand is from God and God wants you to do that and that's why he hold it over my head to tell you this and to spread it into your mindset you have to act on what you hear hear from God that is coming through in my podcast you should not close the episode and then you start to wash the dishes uh, playing with the kids or going out shopping you need to handle this what you get from God uh, uh, of course it's uh, it's important, important that you do things that this, those hosts from heaven that is coming here and talk, uh, that you do something also about what they are saying. But uh, the most important is when God is talking and he was now told you to do, to act on what have been said in this episode to clean out the demons from your life you will see a big difference if you do that so 